Howdy again, it's Mr. Peach, your interweb shop teacher, and this is episode number 77A, the question portion of my famous What Is It Mystery Tool Mystery Item Series. So I have four very interesting items to show you here, contributed by various faithful viewers. Thank you, gentlemen. But before we begin, just a little bit of an update or correction or amendment to the last video, which was number 76, regarding this surgeon's tool for drilling into a skull. And I suggested, why are they charging a thousand dollars for this? Of course, this is about twelve dollars, and it's the same thing, really. Same company, different name on it. But why don't they use an electric one? Well, there's a very good reason pointed out by several people in the comments. If you used an electric drill or anything else in an operating room that might produce a small spark, there's a big danger of fire in that oxygen-rich environment. Think of what happened to the astronauts years ago. Okay, this is item one donated to me by John Lillig when I was up at Ironfest. Now, nobody will know what this is, I'm gu I guarantee, because he has asked many people as well, because this is probably an attachment for a machine rather than a machine or anything that is a standalone item. And I covered up the trademark here, which may give it away or too much of a clue. There is a number, but it's probably a serial number rather than a model number, but quite heavy, made of cast iron. Notice half a dovetail there and some kind of clamp, and there's all kinds of adjustments here. I myself do not know what it is, so I hope that we get an answer for that. More knurled knobs and adjustments and stops and so on, so you, you can imagine how much this would have cost. It's even got a Gitz oiler right there. I think we're talking about a $3,000 item if you had to buy it. Anybody out there at all have a clue? I'm sure they haven't made it in many, many years. It's probably an antique. Look at the little roller there that goes into a V-groove. It's really intricate. So, what is, number one, put it in the comments if you can and I would be glad if somebody would research that and tell me what it is. Here's a very interesting item given to me by Dave Clark along with a bunch of other stuff that you'll see sooner or, or later. It's number two. What in the world is this? I believe I know but I would be glad to have comments. Doesn't look much different on this side. Thank you, Dave. What is number two? The next two items were donated by Roger Taylor, who has given me several more items that I haven't shown you yet. Again, Roger lives out in California and was a shop teacher, and he's in contact with me quite often. Just a wonderful man. I'm sure he was a great shop teacher when he was in his prime. But what is number three? I think I know what it is. I know someone will do research by numbers. I'm trying to keep you from looking at the numbers, but I'm sure that you clever guys will figure this out. These are still made, I'm sure. What is number three? Leave it in. Leave your uh, ideas now in the comments, and be sure and go back and look at my 75 other videos. Actually, it'd be 150 of them because half of them are questions, the other half are answers. So, there will be a playlist for the entire series down in the description as well. Here's number four, also donated by Roger Taylor. Two separate pieces. There's a little crank. I don't believe this has ever been used. 
because everything's in perfect condition, no scratches. I love that crinkle finish, don't you? I'm pretty sure that I showed one of these in a in a video a long time ago. Not the same one, but similar, but I believe it was pretty well worn. So what is the purpose of this? And a thumb screw there and some kind of clamp right here. This is cast iron. Pretty nicely made. And this was, believe it or not, on a table at a flea market and it also said guess what it is and if you did guess you got it free they gave it to you this is the tag that was on it at the flea market name it and it's yours well there they are four nice items place your guess down in the comments hope you enjoyed the video be sure and check out that playlist down there in the description thank you again to the contributors and so long for now. Have a happy holiday.